Hi guys, in this video I will give a short demo on how to use carousel slider. So as a mobile developer you may find yourself like you want to develop some designs uh, which uses sliding animation and background image carousels. So in this video I will show how to do that. So this page which you are looking is the main.dart file. Uh, in which you have the basic code and I have deleted the my home page code for it so that we can define it in our own way. So now first let's start by defining it. So uh, let the my home page class extend stateless widget and since uh, I'm, I will be creating an app or page which will have an app bar here and then in the body it will have the carousel so here I'll return scaffold since I want to use app bar and here I'll use app bar and then with I'll name the title as carousel slider now let us save it and see once so here we can see uh, that our app has an app bar and now since we want to use our carousel slider we need to install that package so for that we will search it carousel slider flutter and click on the first link which you'll get and in that you go to this installing section and copy this and now go to the pubspec.yaml file which is present here and then under the dependencies you should add it and now click save and it takes a few seconds for installing and once it is done we can use it in our main.dart and whenever we want to use those packages we need to import them import these libraries so here I'll use carousel slider and we need to use this package here so now in our app uh, we have this and what I'm showing here is the list of image URLs which I will be using to show the demo for my app. So I'll, I'll just uncomment it and use it in my app. And the list which you are seeing here is the list of URLs of the images. So now what we need to do is that uh, we need to use carousel slider in our body. So in body, I'll use carousel, carousel slider. And in that we can use, we, uh, we can see four things, items, options, carousel controller and key. So here what I will do is I'll use options and in options uh, we need to write carousel options and in options we have many things which we can configure. So here first of all I'll be configuring the height uh, which I'll be considering as 650 for now and we can change that later. And apart from height, uh, we can also configure other things, which I'll show later. Okay, so this options here provides the way in which you want to take control of the images or the widgets which you are showing in the carousel slider. But now when it comes to the part that what we want to show, then we need to use items. So for that, I'll write items and then here uh, we have to return the images which is present in this list. So what I'll do is I'll use my slist dot map and in that 
uh, I'll take uh, I'll take uh, I as a string and then in this I'll return I need to uh, return a builders in order to build in order to build the images which I want to show so it now once I return a builder I have to assign something to the builder so I'll use the builder and then it takes a parameter build context you can type it like this and after that in the body of this you need to return what you want to show in your app so okay the point why it is showing here is because we need to convert this into list so here we need to write dot to list not here it should be here and after builder we are missing a semicolon because we need to return it okay now we don't have any errors so in the body of this we need to return the image so what i'll return is return image dot network and within this i'll use okay since we are getting i as the string that is we are getting the input as directly the string which is present in our uh, list so we can use this directly as i so now let us see how it looks and we need to write a semicolon also because we are using a return statement let us see if there are any errors here okay now what we can see is that we have an app and here images are being displayed and we find that we have to click continuously uh, so that uh, these images have to turn but overall we are getting the sliding effect and here uh, this shows the white space because the image is taking long time uh, to uh, to load so it will uh, this you can change by uh, changing the urls of the images as well it won't be an issue now since our app looks like very normal we need to change few things so for example uh, we need to have the option that the images should play by themselves so in this we can use auto play and write it to true now let us see the changes okay so now you can see that the image has been loaded and it is displayed and the images without using the mouse the images are uh, being scrolled by themselves okay now we also it would also look better if the image which comes in between would have been enlarged so for that we can use another option that is you can see here um, and enlarge center page and make it to true let's save it now you can see that the page which is shown in between has been enlarged and i think it was it would also be better if we had some curved uh, so curved if this image would have been curved at the ends so uh, for that i'll wrap my image dot network within another widget and that is clip r right <coughs> and in that i'll give border radius as well and it is border radius dot circular let me keep it to 30 now let us see okay this hasn't affected it uh, we will see the changes later now let us wrap this within a column so that we can display text below the images that is i want some text to appear here so that's why let us wrap this within a column 
and then make it to children clip our rectangle and here now look at the changes we can also see that the border radius has been applied to this okay so this looks better now but i think that it would also be better if we had some padding on the upper side we can do those changes uh, but first i think that it would look better if we change the background color of body to black so let us do that in scaffold here we have the option of using background color and i'll change it to colors dot black now save it and see it looks better now and now we need to add the text as well so we'll go to the column part here and in the widget we have to add text and in text i'll write hello now if you see the changes you won't be able to see the text this is because by default the text is in black color and in order to change it we need to use style and it takes text style and in this we can change the color okay now let us save the changes and see the output here we can see that we have uh, a small text and it looks good but we also need to increase the size of it so here let us add font size and make it to 40 maybe and we will also change the uh, font style to italic so for that use font style and make it to font style dot italic now save the changes and look at your screen it looks better because the height is also increased i mean the size is increased and the color is increased and uh, color is white and the font has been changed to italic so instead of hello you can write anything uh, let me write carousel itself okay so now i think that it would be better if we had added a size box in between so that there would be some spacing in between them so here i'll add height as 20 maybe and if it won't look better then we'll change it okay now there is some spacing between uh, this and let me change it to 10 there are some errors uh, because uh, since the height which we are which we have used for various things like the height of the sized box then the height of the entire uh, page it seems to be uh, it seems that uh, it is exceeding that it shows the error that a render flex over overflowed by 2.3 pixels on the bottom so now we can change the height also for that let us try with 7 750 and see if it works yeah now you can see that we don't have any problems or any errors are thrown so you should also you should always take care of these things that the height which you mention uh, should be proper so that you won't uh, get any errors so now this is pretty much our app which we wanted and we can also try to have spacing here by making this carousel in center or by adding uh, the padding at the top so for that what we can do is uh, make this wrap this within a widget called padding and in that you can use padding and give it as edge insets 
dot only and from there i'll write top and make it as 30 and we need to see because uh, see if it works because there might be some problems also okay now we can see that we have some spacing and we are not getting any errors also and this this looks very cool when we look it so you can also include some changes and do your own style for it so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching my videos please do like and subscribe thank you